What's up guys, John here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Breakneck Life. On this channel, the boys and I do our own thing. We live our lives and we bring you along for the ride. So if you haven't seen episode one of the series, it's on the corner. I'm training for a marathon and I have six weeks to do it. One of the boys is a runner, that's Manny. He's my coach and he's uh, trying to get me prepared for a full marathon. I do not have a background in running. I do not like to run and that's what makes it a whole lot more interesting. I had shot a nice intro for this video and then I realized that none of the audio was shot properly. No! God, please, no, no! So I'm taking this time to also do the intro. This episode covers my first week of training to give a quick breakdown on the runs that I did. Monday, I had six mile run. Tuesday, I was off. Wednesday, I had four miles. Thursday, six. Friday, I had a track workout, eight by 400s. One minute, 30 second rest in between each lap. And then I had a two lap warm up and a two lap cool down. And then Saturday, I had 10 miles. So some people came along on these runs with me. So uh, let's jump right into this episode and see how it went. I'm tired. John outran me. John's a better athlete than me and he sweats more than me. By a lot. But I'm tired. John outran me and he sweat more than me because he's a gorilla. Gorilla breakneck racing team. We just ran those hills, landfill hills of Florida, Vista View. We're gonna ride it every single Monday for the rest of our lives so I can stay in shape for the race season. John's gonna do it because he's a gorilla and that needs to run. He's lonely, he needs to run off all his sexual frustration. So ladies, hit him up. Right, John? Yeah? We made it. We did the trails today, which was kind of weird because I've never done those trails and it wasn't like flat surface. Gave my legs uh, kind of a break from just running on flat ground. I don't know if it was my shoes or my socks because I felt a blister coming on. Nothing too bad. So we did six miles at 1037 pace. We were doing the trail, so we went a lot slower. Pretty good run. Legs feel pretty good. I did three yesterday, six today. Tomorrow I'm off and then we're back at it on Wednesday. So I didn't run on Tuesday. I was off so I didn't have to run. And then I didn't run yesterday because I was eating shit. So today, a uh, busy day. I have to make up yesterday's run and also do today. So right now we're at Flamingo Park. I have to do four miles. And then tonight with Manny at I run, I have to do six. So I'll come back on, tell you how the four went and then uh, we'll go to I run. So uh, let's do this. Four miles, 9.38 pace. I feel tired today. My legs feel very heavy. Those four were kind of hard. So uh, we got like six hours to recover and then I got to do six with Manny. So I'm going to get off my legs right now and uh, then do six tonight. So let's go. All right, boys, we're at Iron. We got six miles. I don't really know if my legs are recovered. I took a nap. If they're not recovered, they're not recovered. If they are, they are. But we got six miles right now. So let's see how, how this goes. Manny's probably going to run with me. On Thursdays, he just keeps my pace because he's a cool guy. And that's it. So uh, let's do this. All right, boys, false alarm on that running with Manny thing. He did not let us know, and I did not realize that he was on vacation still, so we showed up, and he was not here. Still ran at I run. I did six miles at a 10-10 pace. It felt better than the four I did this morning. My legs feel pretty good. I'm kind of excited about doing the, the 10 today, getting it done. I'm fighting this blister that I have on my left foot. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I'm thinking about how I'm going to deal with that because we're coming up on five weeks left until the marathon. So I'm kind of running every day. So I don't really have the time to let my foot, like the blister heal properly. I might have to wrap up my foot, but we'll deal with it when we got to deal with it. Tomorrow we have a track workout. Track workout day, eight by 400s. I got two lap warm up, two lap cool down, and Andres is coming with us. I'm just working to deload my legs a little bit, but John here, it's being a savage and he's getting ready for his marathon. I already worked out in the morning. I did 60 minute Metcon. After that, I did snatches and then heavy front squat. And now we're here. Leg workout before track day. At fucking 12.30 <laughs> midday, <laughs> which is going to be very interesting. It was a tough one, not too bad. Total three miles. Tomorrow I got 10 miles, so I'm going to get off my feet and rest up the best I can. Let's just keep going. Keep going. Don't fucking stop, just keep going. All right, boys, Saturday is here. Happy New Year, it's the first of the year. If you're watching this, get out, get off your ass, do something. But yeah, we got 10 miles today. We're running at like two o'clock. Some people have 
asked me why I'm running midday since it's really, really hot. That's on purpose because the Miami Marathon starts in the morning when the sun's not out, but I'm not that fast, so I will be running a lot of the race in the sun. So I'm trying to mirror the exact harsh conditions, which I will be running February 6th. So that's kind of why I'm deciding to run midday on most of my runs to get used to the heat and the sun beaming on my ass. So there we go. If you guys are curious about what gear I'm using, just uh, shoot a comment below and I'll add like all the equipment I'm using, socks, shoes, stuff like that. I'm not gonna review shoes, that's Manny shit. So go see his shoe reviews in that corner right there. First run of the year and uh, we got 10 miles. So let's do this boys. All right, so <laughs> that was, uh, that was hard. I was doing pretty good. Uh, at eight, I hit a wall. I started like looking at the watch way too much after like the eighth mile because I wanted it to be over. I did 10 miles. My pace ended up being 10.58. The last two miles is what got my time a lot down. My ninth mile, I did 12.23. And the 10th mile, I was able to drop it down 20 seconds. And I did a 12.03. But yeah, I'm tired, man. I'm like better now because I didn't, I'm not doing this right after the run. I like sat in my shower for like 10 minutes and I caught my breath a bit. So uh, that's why I don't, I mean, I look so tired, but but yeah, I was, I was tired. I wanted to stop, but you know, I went into a dark place and I was like, fuck it, keep going, just keep going, just keep going. It was one hell of a run for the first day of the new year. This week, total mileage, 32 miles. Which uh, is crazy. If you would have asked me before if I ever thought I was gonna run 32 miles, in a year, that would, that would have been now, let alone in a week. If you saw the first episode, it's on the corner. Kind of mentioned that I was defying all signs regarding my weight. You would think I would be losing weight, but I actually gained. I weighed myself yesterday at the gym and I gained again. So I gained one pound, so now I'm weighing 205. So uh, yeah, I'm still gaining weight while running. So again, you might think I'm crazy, but I promise you I'm gaining weight while I'm running. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So you guys remember that blister I mentioned? So it still hasn't opened up yet, but that might be a serious issue coming into week two, so... You guys see that spot? That, that shit is gnarly. This, like, is pretty hard, but the thing I'm worried about is this gap right here, because you see that skin? That's just waiting to open up. That's gonna be a bitch, but uh, we'll figure it out. We're gonna keep going because we're not fucking stopping. Don't stop. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anything stop you. If I gotta run with a blistered up foot, I'm running with a blistered up foot. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I hope you guys are getting something from these videos. I hope it motivates you to get off your ass. I'll go do something, get out, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode next Sunday. So, take care. How do people do this? How do professional YouTubers do this? Because I can't do this. I can't do this, brother.